Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, I'm going to be demoing a new Unity plugin that we have available on our asset store. And this plugin is our Bezier Curve plugin. Now we've made this plugin available for free on our website as it's based on this tutorial series by Sebastian Legu. And if you'd like to learn how to create your own Bezier Curve, then I highly recommend that you watch his tutorial series, which I've linked to in the description below. Now I have made my own improvement to his tutorial series, which is why you can only download this plugin if you're a supporter on our website. To become a supporter, you can follow this link here that says Primary Supporter. Once you sign up to become a supporter, you'll notice that you can now add this plugin to the cart. But now that we've covered all of that, let's look at how this plugin works. All right, so here I have a completely empty project, and I'm going to import the Bajir Curve plugin. So I'm going to go to Assets import package custom package and then going to select the Bajir curve unity package this will bring up the import window and I'm going to leave everything selected and click import you'll then notice that some new folders and files have been added to your project window along with a new menu option up at the top left the menu option says infogamer and if you click on it you'll then notice 2d objects and Bajir curve I'm going to click on this, which will create a new game object in my hierarchy called Bajir Curve. Now for those of you that don't know what a Bajir Curve is, a Bajir Curve is a line between two points, which is then bent to follow an arc based on additional control points. And so we have our anchor points, which are green, and our control points, which are cyan. Now Bajir Curves are super helpful and can be used in countless ways for game development. These curves can be used for creating character paths, platform and level design, or even creating racetracks. Next, let's look at the inspector of this object. This is an empty game object with this curve creator script attached. This curve creator script is an editor enabled script, which allows you to make changes to the Bajir curve during the regular edit mode. Now, the first thing that you'll notice in this curve creator script are a couple color variables. These variables allow you to change the color of the different components for your Bajir curve, just in case you don't like the default colors. There's then a toggle variable that allows you to turn on and off the control points of your Bajir curve. Next we have the create new button which allows you to reset your curve. So if I have additional segments and I decide to restart I can just click this button. The next button is the add point button. When you click this button, it will add a new point and segment to your Bajir curve. We then have another toggle which closes the segment between the first and last points of our curve. This is useful for if you want to create a looping racetrack. The next toggle is the auto set control points toggle. When this is selected, the control points will readjust to give the most optimized curvature for your line. And finally, this component has a short hotkey description. To quickly add a new point and segment, you can simply hold shift and left click within your scene view. This will add the new point at the position of your mouse in the scene view. To insert a point, all you have to do is hold shift and click anywhere on the line. This will insert a new point at the position of your mouse. To move the different points of your Bajir curve, all you have to do is left click on a point and then drag it to its new position. And then to remove a point, all you have to do is right click on any anchor point. Once you have your Bajir curve set up the way you want it to be in your game, you can then access regularly spaced points along the curve in your scripts. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new C Sharp script and I'm going to call it Get Curve. I'm then going to open the script up in Visual Studios. Once you have the script opened, you're going to want to create a new variable of your curve creator class. So this is going to be a public variable of type curve creator. I'll call this curve creator with the lowercase c. And then we want to create a vector2 array and we'll also make this a public variable. 
and we'll call this my curve. Then all we have to do in the start function is set the my curve variable equal to curve creator dot get curve and we want to pass in the spacing between each point along our curve. So I'm going to put 0.25f. At this point we can then use the my curve variable throughout the rest of this script to do whatever we want to do with that line. We can then save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, I'm going to set the curve creator variable to the curve creator script, and then I'm going to click play. Once in play mode, you'll notice that the my curve variable is now populated with a bunch of vector twos, and each of these positions are a point along this curve. Now just to demonstrate one last thing, I'd like to show you how I'm using these Bajir curves in my presidential slap game. So here you can see that I have a whole bunch of path objects, which are just a little more complicated objects with that same path creator script attached to it. And so here in the scene view, you can see all the many different paths that I have. Now when I click play, I have my 2D characters being instantiated into the scene. And if I pause my game, I can then select all of these paths and resume the game and you'll notice that each of these characters follows at least one of the paths. Now in the future, I am planning on doing many more tutorials using this Bezier Curve plugin. I can show you how to do 2D character path following as well as platform creation. And so if you'd like to learn these mechanics as well as play around with this plugin, make sure that you go to our website and sign up to become a supporter today. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.